um, uh, Prof. O'Brien, which is the head of the Tissue Engineering Research Group, has different um, different kind of systems that he's working with. So we've got the lung group, the peripheral nerve group, uh, the harsh group, bone group, as well as others. So when I talked to him, and I've already looked at different research topics that are available online, I was like, yeah, I just want to be involved in anything that has to that, that has to be related with any clinical work that I might be doing afterwards. So uh, I was placed in the peripheral nerve regeneration group, and I w I'm currently working with a postdoc fellow in the college here, as well as a PhD student on developing uh, certain kind of solutions or offering therapeutic uh, alternatives for dealing with peripheral nerve regeneration. So what we're trying to do now is that we're trying to come up with conduits and seeding them with uh, some kind of stem cells, their epithelial ol olfactory mucosal stem cells, so that these cells would have the ability to differentiate into certain kind of neurons as well as Schwann cells. And these cells would uh, support the regeneration of the nerves and kind of enhance the, re the growth of the, um, the axons toward each other. So I found it really interesting in terms of this, this, um, this thing could be could have something to do with our work in the future. Uh, so if I wanted to be a surgeon, surgeons nowadays just try to suture the accents and just place it back to where it was. But now it's found that this has uh, certain morbidities and some other clinical consequences that would affect the, um, the quality of the patient's life, or the patient's life afterwards. So um, I, I believe that we're, the work we're doing now is not only a lab thing, but it has to do with the clinical work that I would, I would be doing afterwards in the future. So uh, my normal day would be like waking up at 8, um, being here at around 9. I start in lab work at around 9 all the way till 1 and then having my lunch break 1 to, th one to 2 and then uh, I would be working again from 2 to 5. That would be a normal day but again you know it's, it's a lab work and it's all about experiments and you've got different time points so you wouldn't be working the same the same way every single day. It's not, it's not kind of a routine life. So um, I would be working 2 to 5, uh, sorry 9 to 5 most of the days but you know there there might be some days where I had where I had to work till eight in the evening because it's an experiment and it's a certain procedure or protocol that I had to follow and it had to end on the same day. I can't leave the cells like leaving in the incubator till the other day. And at the same time, uh, there were some other days in which I did not have to attend because you know we were incubating the cells and I have to come back to them after three days. So it really differs and it differs according to which branch you want to get you want to get into. So I know the college offers a huge variety of different options. So if you want to go into anatomy, pharmaceuticals, or cancer-based therapies or whatever. So it, it differs according to your supervisor, it differs according to what experiment you're working in, your lab environment, and everything. Yeah. Well, it's been a very positive experience, and I would highly recommend it for some other students who would like to gain a lot of knowledge, to upgrade their CV, to um, work in a different environment, um, and yeah, just to have a very enjoyable and pleasurable summer in Ireland.